In this tutorial, I'll show you how to paint guitars in an artistic composition. So, let's begin. Because in this composition there are a lot of horizontals, I'm going to use the ruler to guide my brush. Here I am applying a dark blue and I'm using the same color and I'm filling the entire top part. And then I will apply a brighter blue. It's the same uh, color family, it's just that I added more white. And I'm going to blend the two color to create a soft transition from the darkest hues to the lightest ones. I'm sliding my brush from one side to the other and because I have a wet surface that allows me to create soft transitions. Now I'm moving forward and I create a bright horizontal. I'm using orange here because in between orange and blue it is a uh, contrast. Probably I will have to um, explain more into, um, into a future video the chromatic philosophy that is behind this contrast. So here, just to give you a very tiny clue, colors are complementing each other and blue and orange, they exalt each other. They make each other look better when they are one nearby each other. So I'm moving on and I create another horizontal with a brighter blue and then a brighter orange. Like this, I divide my entire composition into horizontal panels. I will place my first guitar here. I'm going to divide it in two halves. And um, I'm going to use for this a darker blue. In order to get this particular blue, I mix blue with a little orange. The same color that I used in the background because I want to keep the unity of the entire composition. I'm drawing the neck of the guitar and the head. For the other half I'm going to place it a little off and I'm going to pay attention on the orange line. I don't want to paint over it for the moment. Later on, I'm going to add multiple layers. I'm filling in the guitar and I'm using the ruler to help me a little bit here. I will um, apply more layers of color because I want a opaque color. This will be the support. I already changed my brush. I'm using a smaller brush because this gives me more control when I'm painting the edges. I want to create similarity in between the two and that's why I changed the brush. Okay, so once I finish the first guitar with a brighter color, I'm going to place few elements of the second guitar. I'm not going to draw it entirely. I'm just I'm just placing the middle part and the neck. And it will come with multiple layers until it became opaque because right now it's a little transparent and I don't want to keep this transparency ongoing. Just like this. I 
I'm using the same brush that I used before, the one that gives me more control. For some reason, when I paint, I like the smaller brush because um, even if it takes longer to paint, I love the, uh, the control that it gives me. So for this reason, I'm going to use this brush more often than the bigger brush. Now, everybody is different. I've seen artists that love using bigger brushes because that gives them obviously speed and you can cover more in a um, in few strokes. But um, for me, it's just a matter of preference. Now, on the top layer, I'm going to draw another guitar with white. This time I'm just doing the trace, the contour, where it should be, and I'm going to put it just on top of the other guitar. I'm placing the neck here, and the head. Even if it's coming out of the canvas, it's uh, uh, suggesting that it's a musical instrument. Now the circle that is here in the middle, I'm going to put the strings later on. And here it's the support for the strings. Here are those dividers for the keys and few dots. And now the tuners. And I will end up putting on a few strings. Here I'm gonna use just small fine lines and I will um, create the suggestion of strings. As uh, I did before, I'm going to use few layers of color because I want the full brightness of white. Now I'm tracing my second white guitar on top of what we did before. And for this, I'm going to use different thickness of, um, of the brush. If I press more, the line will become thicker. So I have areas where I press more and I have area where I press less. Now on the orange line, I will do the, um, uh, the marks that are on the guitar and few lines and of course the strings, the most important strings. When you will paint this at the beginning, the lines will not be parallel. If it's difficult for you, then use the roller. But they don't have to be perfectly aligned. The more natural they are, the more personality it will have. So either way, there's no wrong way and there's no good way. And here, my final guitar with white and few little accents. The strings here and those decorative lines. In order to give this artistic look to the guitar, I'm going to end up with a black contour. 
I choose the black because it creates a strong contrast with the white that we did before. So I'm going to enhance only few elements and I'm going to use mostly curvy lines. I'm not going to be precise here when I'm doing the contour with black. Here I'm putting a few little verticals. And few strings. Here a curvy line. When I'm tracing this contour, the lines are going to be very loose. So in without putting too much effort, I'm just sliding my brush along the white part. The second guitar just few suggestive lines with black and the third half of a guitar if you have different colors that you would like to use it will go very well with um, two complementary colors, but I will advise to use a bright color and a darker color to create contrast. So if you want to change color, that would be a good idea. For me, I just chose orange and blue. And here are my last, here is my last accents the decorative part and these are my guitars please give this video a big thumbs up share it with your friends even with your people that you don't like and if you're new to my channel please subscribe and don't forget to visit my website at mgartgallery.com